Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're installing uh, APR pulleys for stage two. So I got both of them. Here's a crank pulley and the drive pulley. So this is the small one. And the belt, of course. 187. That step came in, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. We're gonna remove the cover from underneath, then uh, to the top, slide out the bumper, and take it from there. Most of you knows that this car has been sal is salvaged, so uh, I've done that plenty of times. Uh, we'll see. Maybe there will be enough room to get this from here. We'll see. I was going to originally record the whole thing. Uh, but that would take too much time so I just took some pictures some short videos so uh, let me show you what I've done so here you see a picture uh, you know bumper coming off fairly uh, easy enough that wasn't another picture with the bumper off um, here under the light on a6 there are brackets that need to be removed here is a zoom of that metal bracket and under the light on the right hand side there are screws that you need to remove that because that will prevent fender from com uh, the support from coming off. Picture of the belt, uh, that's before pulley went, came off or pulleys just to see the, you know, the belt diagram. Uh, here you see me in uh, struggling with the, with the tools and trying to pull off that take off that pulley took forever and um, here is a new pulley on uh, I did put that in the oven obviously and heated it up to like almost 400 degrees and then I cooled off the shaft here with some ice and put it all together uh, it slid on easily so no challenges there really this was the easiest part I would say from the whole process <coughs> The hardest part was to actually, on A6, slide out the the uh, radiator support um, without breaking anything. And the crank pulley on the bottom was kind of challenging as well. Okay, here's a picture of the original crank pulley inside the bolts. That's a triple square size 10, I believe. I might actually say on it uh, but yeah I had to take a picture wasn't sure what kind of uh, tool I needed um, and here is me struggling after unscrewing it trying to slide off that uh, pulley uh, but I actually didn't know it's a double pulley so you have to remove the other belt that's holding it well it's not holding it but it's on it so uh, you, you have to loosen up that belt in order to take off that uh, to slide out that pulley and then another thing that is worth mentioning here is the pulley that uh, comes from APR it just goes over it so uh, you know when you take this one out and you see it's a double pulley don't don't try to take it apart or or panic that you did something wrong the the APR pulley just slides on top that's why you get longer bolts and uh, it, it covers one of the pulleys and the other one stays exposed so with the other belts uh, nothing changes um, only only one of the pulleys is replaced if I can say it that way um, actually the, the APR overlaps on it so because it's way bigger um, so that's uh, something that I wanted to mention here um, other than that uh, another thing is there is an offset bolt on this pulley and your APR pulley so make sure you uh, align them just so there is no shaking no uh, anything like that so the, the belt doesn't get ruined and the pulleys don't get ruined hey guys so uh, last weekend I got all the uh the pulleys installed for the APR stage two for the so I got crank pulley and the drive pulley installed both of those and I'm driving to get the software flashed right now so um, I think 
can definitely feel the difference right away. Anyways, going heading to Blue Water Performance and I'll uh, talk to you soon. Hey guys, I just wanted to say the car is so much fun to drive comparing to the Stage 1. Uh, it's such a big difference from Stage 1 to Stage 2. It just, it just goes. You press it and it just goes. You know, four wheel spins on the wet surface, so it's awesome. Don't regret it. Worth every penny. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.